18 to nothing on Brett Stafford's three-yard run, and then his 69-yard touchdown pass to Everett Gay. And we'll be back after these messages from your local station. It's Texas against Texas Tech, and this is the Raycom Sports Network. A hundred years ago, long distance was simple. He gave your message to a Pony Express rider, and he took care of it. Now, due to the new long distance rules, you're going to have to choose your own long distance company, or somebody's going to do it for you. You'll want to make up your own mind. When you choose Clay Desta, we're going to take care of it for you. Clay Desta Communications. Give us a call. Welcome to 1986. Your Dodge dealer wants to thank you for making Dodge the fastest growing American car and truck division. We intend to keep it that way with revolutionary cars and trucks. Check out the new optional equipment discount packages that can save you up to $850. And our five year 50,000 mile protection plan comes with every car and truck we build. Catch the great deals now at North Point Dodge I-35 at the St. John's exit. Second quarter coming up at Austin, Texas. I'm Merle Herman along with Bud Wilkinson. And let's look at the time of possession. It seems like, Coach, that Texas had the, had the ball longer than that away. Well, they had those quick touchdowns, which uh, helped them, but I thought they had the ball longer, too. First down on the 32, or second down, rather, on the 32. And Texas goes to the run. It is Johnson is still trying to find something, and what he finds is a horde of white jersey. The primary tackler uh, is King Simmons. Uh, he had a lot of help, though, so Jerome Johnson did a lot of running. Roland Mitchell should also get some credit there for the tackle. Jerome Johnson from Pilot Point, Texas. And he battled his way hard enough to pick up the necessary short yardage to make the first down on the play. So it's at the 27, and Darren Norris comes in as fullback now. Jerome Johnson goes out for the horn. Over the ball, Gene Chilton, Jaton and Chester the guard, Houston and Stewart are the tackles. Metcalf is now in as a wide put to the right. Oh, he's in their tailback, I, I guess. Now, here's a handoff going to the up man, and that's Darren Norris. And Norris gets down to the 20-yard line where Larry Mathis makes the tackle. Sometimes we'll see Eric Metcalf, number two, and you'll see him in a moment. Little Eric Metcalf sometimes will, will uh, come out of the backfield and become a flanker. Uh, he's not very big. He's only 5'9", 178, the freshman. But he has really excited some folks uh, here in Texas. He certainly excited them in the first game against Missouri on a big punt return. Second down coming up for the Horn. Now here is Eric Metcalf. Let's see what he can do. He's got a first down inside the 15. He's got that priceless quality speed in addition to great balance. Take a look at it again and give you some idea of this young man's ability now and the future potential. See him break it upfield. Then that acceleration to break through the gap and then bouncing off almost shaking off the last tackle first down on the play so the ball down at the 13 yard line texas leading 14 to nothing norris the up back metcalf is the tail back in the eye fullback gets the call norris from el camino california gets down to about 11 where brad hastings the middle linebacker is there to make the stop you know, Brad Hastings ought to be all world the way he has played this year. Fine football player, and Stafford is setting up the option play. He's been giving it to the fullback thus far, but uh, one of these times soon he will fake that play, keep the ball himself, turn up field, or maybe pitch it to the trailing back. The play is set up nicely. You saw part of the Akers family, father and son, and uh, Danny Akers gives the signs, the hand signs, to the quarterback, and Metcalf goes right up the middle. Metcalf gets inside the 10 near the 8. It'll be third down coming up after a three-yard pickup. Third down, five. Desmond Royal, who is not in right tackle for Texas Tech, makes the stop in the play. Did you have his, uh, did his dad play for you with the St. Louis Cardinals? No, he did not. Uh, he had gone to Canada before I got there. I was very disappointed, however. Red Acres record, ninth year, was an assistant. Nine years to Darrell Royal here before going to Wyoming as the head coach out there for a couple of seasons. Brett Stafford, the option, he's going to keep it, and he struggles for the end zone, but he won't make it. He gets down to about the one. King Simmons will get credit for the tackle. 
It'll be first down and goal to go for the long run. Yeah, Stafford had this very well set up. He's been faking to the fullback. This time you can see him make the fake and how cleanly he breaks it up the field. The secondary is the first people to touch him, and he almost got it into the end zone, but was forced back about, oh, maybe a foot from the goal line, but a beautiful execution of the option play after having it well set up by the previous calls. And you just saw a Longhorn bulldog to the ground <laughs> by the Red Raiders. First and goal to go. They go into the power eye. The up man is Jerome Johnson. Norris is the tailback of that power eye. It's Jerome Johnson for the touchdown. And the Longhorns go up 20-0. So the Longhorns are starting to make it a very long afternoon for the Red Raiders of Texas Tech, and we're only in the second quarter by a little bit. Jeff Ward, the extra point try. Ward is now, let's see, he's perfect this year. And he is perfect again this afternoon. That's three straight for him. And it's 21 to nothing, Texas, with 11.46 to go in the first half. And take a look at the touchdown. Beautiful blocking. When you can make that kind of a hole on the goal line, you know that your offensive line is executing with precision. Let's watch it one more time and see them as they lineman fire out. A double team on the guard, the outside, and center block to the left. Wide, wide open. So the Longhorns are ahead by three touchdowns here in the second quarter, just barely in the second quarter. We'll be back right after this. Most people know you can only buy a Curtis Mathis at a Curtis Mathis Home Entertainment Center. They know delivery and installation are included, and there's a four-year limited warranty on every product. But what people don't know is just how long a Curtis Mathis really lasts. Oh, well, time to get another Curtis Mathis. Yep. At Curtis Mathis Home Entertainment Centers, our products may be a little more expensive. But they're worth it. More than telephone service, the Southwestern Bell Network is the messenger of the information age. Our plan was to reduce costs by creating a paperless claim system. We connected doctors and hospitals to our computer through a data network designed for us by Southwestern Bell Telephone. And it works even better than it did on paper. To put information into motion, call Southwestern Bell Telephone. We're online with the future. Texas leading 21 to nothing. Bad news for the Longhorns, though. William Harris, who made that diving catch near the near sideline. Remember that one a little bit ago? He injured his hand. He may return, but right now they're not sure. 187 total yards for Texas offensively. 50 for the Red Raiders. Jeff Ward to kick off. Keith Henderson, Wayne Locker are back, and that's a ground ball type of kick that uh, is going to go to Gerald Bean, and Bean comes up to midfield and across the midfield stripe and down to the 47 yard line. Number 36, receiving that kickoff. Let's look at other ball games as Maryland leads North Carolina 14 to nothing in the second quarter. Boston College, Penn State looks like a ball game. Second inning. <laughs> And Syracuse, not expected to beat Pittsburgh, but was expected to be close games. It proves to be Clemson leading Wake Forest. And Michigan State is bombing Minnesota. Wow. First down, Red Raider 48-yard line. Yeah. Two wingmen going to the run, and the handoff goes to James McGowan, uh, the fullback, and he is near midfield. It's Kip Cooper, number 90, who's now playing the defensive left end, makes the stop. Georgia leads Tulane, 10 to nothing in the first quarter. And Oklahoma State, Colorado is expected a very close football game. LSU leading Mississippi a little easier than I thought they believed that it would be. Second and nine for the Red Raiders. Chris Tanner over the ball, and in motion is Bean going out to the left. To see on the drop, and throwing in the run, underthrows the receiver at the 41-yard line. It was Tyrone Thurman. Uh, Stephen Braggs had the coverage on the play, 
And coach, uh, about one more series, and I'm going to start looking for Billy Joe Tolliver to come in at quarterback for Texas Tech. Remember what he did against Rice? He almost pulled that game out in the last minute with two passes, two long passes, one an apparent touchdown pass, which is dropped to the end zone, but he's got a rifle arm. So right now it's going to be Cassie. Andy sends Thurman wide to the left side. Split to Wingland, right out to the right. One running back, Bean in motion. You see to Tyrone Thurman on the wide out screen. And hey, that ball's got to be thrown just about on the level of the number, or he's not going to be able to jump to get it. He's only 5'2. That ball was thrown maybe just a little bit too hard as we take a look at Cassie as he drops back. Rules are out there to Thurman, and it's got so much velocity on it. Thurman, a little bit high, had to go up in the air for it and couldn't quite hang on. So, once again, Robert Grimes in to do the punting and drives it downfield, and the ball is going to roll toward the end zone. Will it get in? Yes. Last minute takes a bounce, gets into the end zone, a 51-yard kick by Robert Grimes, who was averaging 38.7 coming into the ball game. Texas leading at 21 to nothing. 10 minutes, 50 seconds to go in the first half, and... With Texas on top by three touchdowns, we'll return after this. Delta gets you there. To Los Angeles. Boston. Chicago. And New York. Also serviced to all of Florida's major resorts. Delta also gets you to Europe. Hawaii. And the island. In all, Delta serves more than 100 cities in the U.S. and overseas. Delta gets you there. Joe Tolliver with a golden arm is starting to warm up for Texas Tech. The first quarter, freshman from Boyd, the red shirt last year, had an outstanding senior year in high school. He's a best thrower on this Tech ball club. When so you're this far behind, you got to put something like that in the game. And now, Eric Metcalf. Metcalf breaking one tackle, almost getting away to the outside across the 25 to the 26 before Merv Skirlark, the sophomore from Monahans, can make the tackle. A gain of six, it'll be second and four. He's an interesting football player with that tremendous burst of speed. Second down four for the Horn. Splitting wide to the left side is Gabriel Johnson on a second and four call. Stafford goes to Metcalf, hops up over the would-be tackler, gets near the 30, just a bit short it would appear. Warren, the strong linebacker, makes the stop. He's out of Monterey High School in Lubbock. Very but clean tackle, too. Beautiful execution by Warren. Third down and that much. Texas has converted four times out of five on third down situations. They show the power eye. Johnson and Norris. Make that Hunter. And they've got the first down on the run with... Darrell Norris, Darrell Norris, Norris rather. Tim Crawford, 92, the defensive left end from Cashmere High School in Houston. We'll get the tackle there. Power eye on short yardage gives you that one more blocker that adds to the problems of the defensive team, and that set up, of course, the touchdown for Texas from Stafford Fake, and then kept the ball himself. Johnson is out of the ball game as a wide receiver, and Monty Daly is in for Texas. Well, let's see. Johnson is still in there. Johnson and Daly. It is Jerome Johnson. And on this misdirection, it is Charles Hunter. That's a pretty good play action there by their quarterback, Brett Stafford, and Leonard Jones, the roverback, has to make the tackle. Good deception in the backfield by Mr. Stafford. That's the first time that they have run a true counter play. Tech has been reacting quickly to the side of the first fake. They were certainly set up. 
Johnson wide to the left side for Texas on a second down. 8.38 to go in the first half. Texas leading it 21 to nothing. It's time to pull back. And that is Darren Norris again. Norris has the first down to the 45-yard line. It's Doug McKinney, the middle linebacker, number 57, the senior from Sherman on that tackle for Tech. This Texas execution of the offense has been so far very excellent, as you can see them just blowing everybody off the line of scrimmage. The ball carrier finds it easy when the line blocks that well, and the outside linebackers take the fake, knowing that they've got to be aware of Stafford on every play. So it is a first and ten for Texas. Pitch goes to the tailback. But Hunter uh, gets to the midfield stripe. Charles Hunter, who has scored three touchdowns this year for Texas, Leonard Jones, the Rover. Again on the stop. Stafford is doing an excellent job of running this Texas offense. Bruce Blackmer was into the ball game for a couple of plays, comes out, and Paul Jaton comes back in to replace him at left guard for the Horns. I've been impressed with Stafford's ability to throw the football. He's executed some excellent passes. Daly to the right, Hayes to the left for the Horns. Just shy of the midfield stripe on second down. Hunter to the 49. A couple of yards. James Johnson, the weak side linebacker, dynamite himself makes the tackle. But and I are watching uh, the Texas band on monitors supplied by Curtis Mathis. Curtis Mathis, a little more expensive, but worth it. Almost a defensive blitz on the last play by Tech, and they need to be committing more people to stop this running attack. Third down, just across the midfield stripe. Texas leading by a score of 21 to nothing. And we've got a timeout call for the Longhorns as Brett Stafford comes to the sideline. And 6.59 remains in this first half here at Memorial Stadium in Austin. Texas leads Texas Tech by a score of 21 to nothing. This Halloween, don't just ask for a light beer. Bartender, please, give me a light. Bud Light! Bud Light. Because everything else is just a light. Now, how about if I tweet? Make this Halloween a Bud Light Fright Night. Look for this display with free poster and special mug offer at participating retailers. Me? I'm an accountant. If he sinks this putty, wins the tournament. Hold it! Can anyone here name a copier maker that's bigger than Rico? Xerox. Rico's bigger. IBM? Rico's bigger. And we got to be bigger than Xerox by making a full line of copiers that win top marks for quality. Illuminating. Now, are you still overlooking Rico? Call Rico. We respond. That's a gimme. Merle Herman and Bud Wilkinson with you in Austin. Here's the total offense for the first half. And to say Texas is dominating would probably be the understatement of the year. Tech had the one shot when they failed to make on fourth and a yard in good field position. The way Texas has operated as Stafford now carries on the option is yanked down on a tackle by Skurlock uh, before he can really get big, big yardage. He got enough for the first down at the 42-yard line, make that the 43-yard line, and it's first down horn. Stafford has set up this option very well by handing off to the fullback on the first three or four times that he made the fake. That time, he faked the ball to the fullback, the Tech defense closed and let the opening come up for Stafford to break it downfield and pick up a first down on the play. First down, 43-yard line. Texas leading, 21 to nothing. Johnson and Daly are the wideouts for the Horns. Stafford, they counter back to the left side. Metcalf out of bounds on the 34-yard line. He gets about nine on that play. It'll be second down, one coming up. And Carl Carter makes the tackle. And this Texas line and backs also are beginning to get great confidence in their blocking. You can see the three linemen pulling on the right side of the screen. That calf turns it upfield, then breaks it to the outside, runs through one tackle before he is knocked out of bounds and picks up about uh, nine on the play. You know, a moment ago, we saw Bebo head on. That must look like that Texas offense coming at Texas Tech. If you're wearing white shirts today. Three wide receivers this time, unusual. Stafford, second down. They stay on the ground and get the first down. Darren Norris, the freshman from El Camino, California. Larry Mathis, 
Makes the stop for Texas Tech. Danny Akers uh, with his father and watch Danny now give the give the play. Or he will shortly. He put three wide receivers out and short yardage play. And Texas hasn't shown that formation very often. You defensively are always tempted to let's just assume they're out there to fake me and just don't cover them. But that's too great a risk. First down on the Tech 31. The tailback, Hunter, no place to go up the middle, tries to get to the outside, and the Red Raiders will not let him turn the corner. A fine defensive play by Leonard Jones, the roverback, who strung him all the way to the sideline and kept Johnson from getting to the outside for big yardage. He got three. Watch the play again as Stafford hands the ball off this time to Hunter. Hunter tries to get it up inside, but there's no daylight there. The pursuit stays on the proper angle, and Jones makes the tackle. A very excellent defensive play by the entire Tech team. Second down, seven. Pursuit. It's a word coined by the University of Oklahoma when Bud Wilkinson was coaching there. The handoff, and Darren Johnson, the pullback up the middle across the 25, down to the 24, and Tim Crawford makes the stop after a four-yard pickup. Take a look at some of the blocking the offensive line. Chilton, the center here. You can see him taking off zone blocking. He picks up the linebacker. Knocks him off very well to set up the play. Was Hastings that he hit. Coach, didn't that make you happy? I remember one of your slogans at OU was if you make one block and you're satisfied, go get another one. That's the only way to do. <laughs> Third down. Stafford does not get the first down. It's a game where the old saying goes, you either hit or get hit. <laughs> and if you're getting hit, you're losing. If you're doing a hitting, you're winning. Fourth down for the Longhorn. 21 nothing Texas, 4.59 to go in the first, uh, first half. And it's fourth down, less than a yard for the first down. Danny Akers signals the call out to quarterback Brett Stafford. Oh, something's wrong. They're in the wrong formation. They had 12 guys on the field, too. That's the wrong formation. Power eye to the right. Hunter hit behind the line. I don't believe he did it. A little bit of confusion in the offensive backfield, and that's all it takes to destroy a play. So Brad Hastings makes the tackle to stop Texas and also stop the Longhorn drive. Red Akers upset because of the non-execution. You lose the starting count timing when... You have to delay because of delayed substitutions, and you lose the permanence of the formation getting set in your stance and ready to take off to attack the defense when you were as late as Texas was in setting up for that play. Billy Joe Tolliver, Mr. Saturday Afternoon, is now on the field as the quarterback for Texas Tech. Billy Joe, draw nothing there up the middle, swing to the outside is McGowan, and McGowan gets a first down. It was Tony Tilden, the right quarterback who finally got him down, but James McGowan headed up the middle, nothing there, did a good job going wide. And everyone expected on the Texas team, Tolliver, to put the ball in the air, so that was an excellent call. At the 37, the first down for Texas Tech. Billy Joe Tolliver, the freshman at quarterback. Oliver with a big arm. He's going to crank it up and let it go and does it. It is caught. It's caught by Bouvier Dale out of the backfield and he is down to the 18-yard line and Stephen Braggs, the left quarterback, and Tony Tilden are there and that is a first down of the 18 and a 45-yard pickup. And as you mentioned, Tolliver has got a great arm. Dale is out of the backfield. Good protection, and Oliver really gets rid of this ball, and look how long that ball is in the air. Dale comes across out of the backfield, makes a good reception, then reverses his field, cuts back against the grain, gets a little better balance to pick up the big gain on the play. That's Tolliver's first completion of his collegiate career. Tolliver, who ran well as a high school quarterback, gets to the 15, and that is all. Kip Cooper is there to make the tackle. And Texas did a very good job of ignoring the inside fake. I thought that uh, Tolliver would set it up because that's the first time, really, that uh, they've run the option. 
Tolliver had thrown the ball three times, twice in the last minute, you'll recall, in the last seconds, in fact, against the, in the, that loss to Rice. Tolliver, uniform shirt out of the pants, reminds me of Bobby Lane. You listen, Bobby? Tolliver, blitz, gets the pass away, Dale out of the backfield, dumped at about the 10-yard line by Bragg. Gain of four. Dropped the ball, but uh, he was clearly on the ground as we take another look at the same the play previous you see Tolliver set back quickly he's rushed from the outside but he gets rid of the ball knowing that the receiver Dale is going to be open with that many men blitzing fumble but you can see that he was on the ground before the ball bounced loose third down three Billy Joe Tolliver 6'1 190 pounds he looks bigger than that doesn't he School last year passed for 1,093 yards and ran for 924. This time he pitches, and they don't get much on that one as Gerald Bean is crushed to the turf by Mark Petkovich, the middle linebacker from Nimitz Galdine. And Jerry Moore likes what he is seeing so far from Mr. Tolliver. It'll be fourth down, however, from the 11 yard line, and they've got to go three more for the first down. And they had the sweep that time from the wishbone formation using all the blockers rather than have the fullback fake for the ball. Boy, saw the tight end sets to the left. They split one man to the right side and are in the full wishbone now on fourth down. Billy Joe Tolliver, options, pitches. First down and more, and down to about the one yard line goes Bouvier Dale. Tolliver is extremely impressive. You can't execute the option any better than he does on this play. Seemed to down the line. There's the pick to the fullback. Tolliver keeps, pitches the ball at the last moment, and it appears that it's going to be into the end zone. Texas, however, recovers quickly to knock the ball carrier down on the one-yard line. James Lott and Stephen Bragg saving that touchdown, and now the Texas Tech Red Raiders are on the move, but they also call timeout. Texas leading it 21 to nothing with a minute 40 left to go in the first half, and they had the ball first and goal to go at about the one-foot line. Well, you're looking at Billy Joe Tolliver. Tolliver, you know, one of the things the coaches have said about him, bud, is he doesn't look good in practice, but he keeps telling them, Coach, I'm a Saturday ball player. Well, most of the time, uh, you go with the people who look good in practice, <laughs> but uh, when you're as young as Tolliver is, Seniors are always going to look a little bit smoother in practice because they've had the experience. But Tolliver certainly thus far on this drive looks like a game football player. You had a, you had some guys, though, along the line that were pretty good game day players that weren't that impressive in practice, though, didn't you? Well, you always do. But uh, after they have impressed you in games, you get them in the starting <laughs> lineup the next time around. <laughs> so Billy Joe Tolliver has Texas Tech down on the one-foot line with Texas on top by three touchdowns. Boy, that that tip pass and reception uh, by Everett Gay for 69 yards in a Texas touchdown looms so large now. Here come the Raiders, first and goal. Billy Joe, touchdown. His first career touchdown. Well, that's the way to climax the drive. Take it over yourself. <laughs> I don't think he would let anybody else take the ball, do you? Well, it's the safest play in football, and particularly when you're that close to the goal line, you're not going to risk anything by handing it off to another back. Beautiful execution by Tolliver as we see him go off the field. So he marched the Raiders down the field in a hurry. Now the extra point try by Mark Mallory to come. Danny Hill will do the whole thing as a quarterback. Mark Mallory is 11 out of 11 on the extra point tries. And there's nothing wrong with that one. So a minute 37 seconds remains to be played in the first half. Texas leading at 21 to 7. Watch Tolliver here. You can see him slide off on the right side of the offensive center who got a good job blocking on the guard and putting the ball in the end zone. Now we see it from the side again and see how he moves to his outside quickly. And the center drove off, completed the play for him. And Jerry Moore has been waiting this for quite some time. He's looking at it intently and... That's not a lot of exuberance, but believe me, inside, you're feeling a tremendous amount. Well, it took Tolliver seven plays to take the Raiders 78 yards. Minute 37 to go in the first half. Texas leading it 21 to 7, and we'll be back right after this. Unmistakably hot. Unmistakably cool. Unmistakably sharp. Unmistakably smooth Unmistakably 
unmistakably right Down to the last detail Tonight is unmistakably Sick and dead The enemy Rain A mere one-eighth inch can float your car off the road Thus the rationale for Vector Goodyear's unique all-season radio. So advanced, its crisscross tread actually pumps away water to help more tire and your car stay on the road. The Goodyear Vector. It simply performs like no other tire in the world. Oh, the Billy Joe. <laughs> you know, he's the kind of a kid, Coach, that, that uh, appeals to me. He... He says, give me the ball. I'll take him down the field. And so he does 78 yards. He's got just enough cockiness to give him that supreme confidence that he can move the ball. And he did. Eric Metcalf wisely downing the ball of the end zone. Texas has lined up looking for an onside kick. Uh, Metcalf was all by himself. Fortunately, he was wise enough to keep it in the end zone rather than try to bring it out. Long boomer by Scott Segrist. wonder if his daddy Cal is watching today. Old friend at the 20-yard line. It'll be Texas ball. First down. Bet his daddy's here. Minute 37 to go in the first half. Texas 21, Texas Tech 7. Brett Stafford has done an excellent job of running the offense for the Longhorns today. And Texas thinking fumble. Metcalf. Metcalf right up the middle for about four. And the scoring drive uh, engineered by Tolliver was excellent. It only took him seven plays to move the ball 78 yards. Now we're down to a minute 17 seconds to go in the first half. Second down is the call. Whiteouts to each side for Texas. One minute left to go in the first half. Eric Metcalf trying to spin off a block and cut back to the inside. Gets to the 30 and he may have the first down. Carl Carter, the All-American candidate, the right cornerback, who will no doubt go very high in the NFL draft, makes the tackle. Tolliver! Tolliver, he can't wait to get back in there, but he may have to wait till the second half to do that but he's going to be looking forward to it and that touchdown that they scored will give Jerry Moore something to talk about particularly when he reminds them that the pass was called complete when the receiver was out of bounds and also the deflected pass that set up the other Texas touchdown first and 10 on the Texas 30 Texas stays on the ground with a run working the clock with 28 seconds to go the gain of two on the play as Mathis puts the hit on and we're down to 22 seconds in counting Texas leading by a pair of touchdowns and extra points, of course. Texas, I don't believe, is going to run another play. We're down to nine seconds. So the Longhorns will take a two-touchdown lead into the locker room at the half. And on this misty afternoon at Memorial Stadium in Austin, Texas, Coach Fred Akers and his Longhorns, who are going for their third win of the year in Southwest Conference play, are leading it by a score of 21 to 7. Well, Coach, uh, you know, a guy like Tolliver, the way that he operated that offense, Texas had better be aware of his potential in the second half, don't you think? I know they will be, but uh, the key thing is going to be, can Tech stop Texas on their first possession? If they can, they're back in the game because they're only two touchdowns behind, and two of the Texas touchdowns were, I'd say, kind of fortunate plays. Uh, Hayes was definitely out of bounds on that pass that kept the drive going for the first touchdown. And then the deflection of the pass to Gay was just uh, one of those things that happened. Could have almost been an interception. Instead, it's touchdown Texas. But Texas Tech went flat after they got those two tough breaks. And, and Tolliver, it looked like, really rejuvenated him. No question about it. Uh, he came in with the type of leadership that you hope a quarterback can bring to a team. So it's 21-7. to 7, Texas leading Texas.